What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freak and geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff, the series where I teach you how to tame a Klingon. Just tickle his belly. Goes all Pillsbury Doughboy. He's like, Hurr! anyway. But moving on with the Eagle Moss Star Trek The Next Generation Enterprise D kit. We are beginning issue number five. As always, this will cover four separate assemblies in the build. So let's take a quick look through the magazine. Of course, we have our uh, parts list, our instrucciones, all that good stuff. Let's get down to the really good stuff. There we go, Data Lore. Oh, that was a good episode. Very bad prosthetic heads, but very good episode. <laughs> uh, if you if you had an off switch doctor, would you not keep it a secret? Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, that's facts. Facts right there. But um, again, the behind the scenes stuff, sketches, you know, concept arts, casting Deanna Troy. There's Deanna Troy. We love Deanna Troy. Well, I love Deanna Troy anyway. Angel One. It's a good episode as well. <laughs> For a man, you can be very clever, Commander Riker. <laughs> For a man. <laughs> oh, yeah, these two. Good episode. That's a good episode, too. Oh, some more concept art. I love the concept art. Just seeing, you know, the ideas and, you know. What they were thinking about and what was the uh, the final the final product there casting Natasha Yar too short a season oh yeah this is a good episode too lots of good episodes when the bow breaks oh the cradle will fall and there we go what is this musical instrument seen in the episode. Include a Vulcan harp. Oh, it's a Vulcan harp. Okay, cool. Let's go. Yeah. Home soil. Again, oh, the concept right there. Casting Jordan LaForge. You can learn how each of the uh, cast members got their jobs. All that good stuff. Some shuttle designs. There you go. So there you have the magazine. Another extra goodie that was included with the shipment is a, uh, a t-shirt. Yay! We got the t-shirt. We got to see the t-shirt. Got to show this off here. Yeah. And here's the shirts. There we go. USS Enterprise, NCC 1701D, Development Project. Galaxy Class Starship Development Project Utopia Policia. Very cool. Let's see there. The Enterprise. Very cool. Very cool t shirt there. So, yes, we got some extra goodies. But enough with all that. Here we have our parts. So, let's get down to it. Oh, let's engage. Because ain't nothing to it but to engage it. So let's make it so. Let's make it so. Let's slice the bag. We got skitties. We got parts. This. More parts. Big section here. Big parts. Put that off to the side. Is that it? That everything? That's everything. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. So now let's open up our instrucciones. Ay, que instrucciones. Ay. All right, so we are here. We are on stage 15. Um, and it seems like the only thing we're going to be doing in this stage is just adding some parts to the uh, saucer frame. Um, this we're not going to be using in the stage, but we have it, but I'll show it off. Um, but yeah, we're just um, adding pieces to the saucer frame here. So let's bring in our saucer frame. Here it is. Oh, it's growing. It's growing into a big boy. Try to a big boy. So we got more of these pieces here. More of these brackety, brackety, brackety pieces. I never like to come out. Get out. There we go. Get that. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Some more metal. More metal. Lots of metal. Lots of meddling to be had. All right, so we're starting on this side. 
So this is going right here. Boom. Right there. This is where we live. This is where we're going. We need some BM screws. Oh, so many BM screws here. Bum bum bum. Lots of bum screws. Lots of these here allows their bum screws. Can't even get the bag open. This sticker is, they, they use one of the industrial strength stickers for this one. Seriously, why can't I get this open? There we go, okay. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna need what? We're gonna need eight in total, so I'll just dump out eight. So, boop. There we go, is that eight? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. Seven, eight, I think that's eight. That should be eight. All righty. So as always, we'll just get them started. Let's get this party started. Let's get this screwing party started. <laughs> yeah. Got that. Oh no! Whisker! Oh, screwing into the final frontier yet again. So how's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? As always, hope everyone's doing well. Everyone's staying safe. Me, I'm just uh, expanding my saucer. Expanding my saucer. Expanding my saucer and expanding my horizons. Broadening my horizons, if you will. The horizons of my enterprise. There we go. Oh, there. There's actually one in quite easily there. Oh, no. <laughs> I say that and they're still not tightened all the way. Come on. <laughs> I was fooling myself. I was fooling myself. There we go. Again, it's not easy to get the leverage you want when you're doing this at arm's length with a camera under your chin. There we go. That's snug. I think that's a snug. I guess this is going to get. Yeah, there we go. We got no wiggle. No more wiggle. We don't want the wiggle. Wiggle is bad. Wiggle is bad, bad, bad. And then we got this one, which is going where? Here. Right there. That's where that's going. That's where that's living. And we need two more bum screws. Two more of these lousy bum screws. Now these I have to do. You go back there. I need to get under this because it needs to be braced. It needs to be supported from underneath. There we go. Boom. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay. Go. 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 These are. Sometimes you just need the right, you need the right grip. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to get the right grip on this so you can do what you need to do. But we're trying, we're trying. I'm gonna dig this right into my palm, that's fine. That's fine, it's a small price to pay, small price to pay. The puncture wounds are a small price to pay. To make sure this is put together. Oh, that one's really tight. That one's gonna need some extra, you know what? I'll tighten that. <laughs> That'll get tightened on my own time. I can't, I can't do this the way I'm doing it, so I'll tighten that up. That will be that will be tightened. There's some wiggle there, but I will tighten it. Don't worry about it. Um, but again, I just, I, I need more leverage than I can, uh, than I can actually do the way I'm doing this again with, you know, at arm's length with a camera under my chin. So, all right, we'll do the other side now. I got more of these, look at that. Look at that. Look. Ah. It's okay. It's okay, again, small price to pay. Small price to pay for the awesomeness that is building this enterprise. <laughs> All right, so these are just going right here. Boom. Okay, we're right there. That's where we live. This is where we live. This is where we live and breathe, right here. Right here. Okay. At least with these, like I, I have the table. But since these, are, since these are shorter, they don't they don't reach the uh, the surface. So I need to use other methods of getting the leverage that I need. At least here I can use the table. For these, I can use the table as leverage. So 
I don't have to puncture my hands. But it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Things will get done and they will get done. You know why? Because that's how things get done. That's how everything gets done. By getting it done. Yeah. So a little bit of wiggle there. Come on. Yeah. There we go. There we go. And now this one is going right here. Yes, it is. And this. Well, I do need to get under it. So I can get the screw started at least. Okay. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go. Here we go. Getting the screw in done. Getting the screw in done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Again, these are the videos where I just make the most random noises. That's all. It's really what it's really what these old build videos are about. Just an excuse for me to make the most random noises. But hey, it's what you signed up for, right? That's why you're watching this. I'm sure. <laughs> okay. So that actually, there we go. We actually got that snug. That snug. This one's still a little. This one's a little weeble wobble. Let me. You know what? Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me just do this off camera real quick. I'm gonna tighten this up. Be right back. Okay, there we go. The uh, the snuggening has been completed. Now everything is nice and secure. There we go. Yay for things being secure. Okay, so there we go. Our saucer, our saucer has grown a little bit, just a little bit. But we also have. We're not using this in this stage, but we have it. And uh, this is the uh, the frame. The frame for the neck. So there you go. And then this is more metal, lots of metal. But there you go. We have our neck frame. And at some point, we'll be attaching things to this neck frame and it will be glorious. It will be a glorious, glorious neck. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> we have expanded our saucer frame a little bit. We have a neck frame. We have lots of framage going on here. I need some picture frames. The only frames I'm missing are some picture frames. But anyway, that is it for uh, this stage of the build. It was short, it was sweet, but hey, progress is progress. So, there you go. Now, if you would like your own Enterprise D kit, there'll be a link in the description down below for you to check out. And if you missed any stage of this build, there is a playlist in the description down below as well that you can check out at your leisure and you can watch this lovely starship take shape before your very eyes. But there you go. We're done with this stage of the build. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of MGO Builds Stuff. And remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, live long and prosper, and home in your face.